So we're inside the National Indoor Arena right now, and I'm with Pat Dolan from RGK. And Pat, Pat's here to offer the athletes here at the tournament a great service. Can you tell me a bit about uh, what you what you do here? Uh, we, we turn up at these shows now to show a bit of interest and get behind our athletes and, and basically we offer a repair service for the whole set of teams, not just our team, but the whole set of teams from every country. And what are some common things that uh, people will ask you for? Well basically tyres go wear and tear on tyres, uh, breakages in welding, uh, spokes, uh, bent pins, all that kind of stuff. Welding as well. So you have a welding a welder here on site. Yeah, we have a TIG welder here with us. Uh, we've we've had an engineer down from our factory doing uh, the aluminium uh, chrome molly and titanium welding. Well, it, it certainly is a great service. Uh, players have the peace of mind knowing that if they have a, an issue with their chair or with uh, some other mechanical problems, that they can come see Pat and he's going to take care of them. Uh, one last question for you, Pat. Can you tell me a bit about uh, the chair that I'm sitting in? Well, you're sat in a full height chair there, so you're a forward chair. It's uh, a made-to-measure chair, uh, and it gives you maximum height for the forwards and speed and strength. You know, So it's one of our stronger chairs. Do you think I'm ready for the national team now? Uh, almost. <laughs> a bit of practice and you might be there. Great. Well, thanks very much for your time, and we'll get back to some action. No problem. So it's the second last day of competition here at the 2010 World Wheelchair Basketball Championships. I'm here with David Ng from uh, the men's national team. Uh, they, they're coming off a, a 10 point win over Turkey in their uh, final matchup of, uh, of the tournament. Um, you guys must be pretty happy to end this thing on a positive note. Well, it's better than finish as eighth. So uh, yeah, it was good. Especially like how it happened, you know, like we're down 15 at one point and it's a good character builder you know like it, we could with all the circumstances that happened during this tournament we could have easily quit and I know that most of the teams that on this tournament here would have quit in that situation but we gathered uh, as teammates and uh, as a whole staff and was able to get that win and, and to give people a sense at home that maybe didn't get a chance to, to watch the the streaming of the game um, it was a pretty intense game. There was a there was a lot of contact going on, and there was uh, certainly from Team Canada bench a lot of enthusiasm. So yourself and Bo and other members of the team, when you guys were on the floor, you were playing hard. But when you were off the floor, you were you were rallying and chanting and, and really trying to to get uh, the team and the guys going. If you were the one playing, what sort of help does that provide for you on the floor? Well, the bench is a uh, part very important for our team. Uh, when you're playing, well. We're actually feeding off the energy that comes from the bench. Uh, we used to have a really huge bench in 2004 and 2000 where we all the chants and stuff. And with the help of Bo today, well, he brought this back to our team and the bench was lit up and I was able, and the, the five players on the court was able to feed off that energy that was coming off the bench to be able to spark the, spark the team up and get that lead. My final question would be, um, just can you comment about how tight the competition is? Uh, this really is anyone's game, and I think this tournament certainly proved that. Yeah, um, compared to the past, uh, where you you knew like who was the top four teams in uh, in the world, but right now there's still like those top four teams are right right there, and you have other countries that are stepping up their games and stuff, so on any given day, there could be upsets and it could be like, anybody can take this right now. Thank you very much for your time, congratulations on the win. This is uh, David Ng from Canadian National Men's Team, tomorrow we have the women playing for bronze at 9am, we're looking forward to that game. <laughs>